Good afternoon guys, it's Ndate Tau, checking back in. So the footage I started off this video with is a place called Kokolosi, which might be my favourite place in the Sulu. I was lucky enough to spend a couple of days there on my last, last trip out here, looking at developing the place as a tourist destination. Now that didn't pan out, unfortunately, but the place is just spectacularly beautiful, you know. Um, brilliant hiking the most incredibly peaceful place I've ever stayed in my life. So we, we were bunked up with the, the chief there for the duration of our stay. Um, the suit is still very much a kind of a feudal society, so the local chiefs are massively, massively important in terms of keeping peace and managing dis disputes and making decisions for the community and so on. Now, the chief of Kokolosi had sadly passed away. So the temporary mantle of chief had fallen to his wife while his while they waited for his, uh, his son to come of age, you know. The kid was about 10 years old by the time I was there. Um, so we stayed with the, the chief for a couple of days and um, she stays in these traditional Basutu rondevels, you know, the clay walls and the thatch roof and no electricity or running water, so everything lit by lamplight, you know, which was uh, really, really beautiful. Um, made going to the bathroom interesting. <laughs> You know, you'd have to go outside over to the long drop toilet, trying not to let your oil lamp go out while being stalked by about 15 dogs, which in any other country would be called bears, you know. Um, but yeah, yeah. The, the chief's son, you know, he, he was um, kind of latched onto me a little bit, you know. I think he missed his dad, missed a bit of male company, you know. Um, so he asked to because a long time to translate this, but he asked if he could kind of sleep curled up on the floor by my bed, you know, as I was being put up in a separate rondeville from the rest of the women. I don't know, I was kind of young, I got a bit awkward about it, so that didn't happen. But I um, still feel bad about that. But we, he, he, the next day, him and his friends took me and Maria hiking. And that's the story I was telling you guys about the Basudu kids a couple of episodes back. Uh, what else have I been up to? Well, number one is it's hot. It's super hot, it's real toasty. You know, we're talking mid to high 30s here, you know? And um, life just goes on, like, so you, you just kind of plow ahead. Um, so what have I been doing? Well, I've been training some of the more militant members of Action of Sudu in Chen style Tai Chi and Wing Chun. Um, a few of them are showing a, a dangerous aptitude for it. Uh, so I may have, may have opened a bag of worms there. Um, yeah, the, the, I, I'm hopefully, if my video editing skills are competent enough, you are now looking at some footage of me and uh, Saskia training in Dave and Pippa's garden. It's a beautiful spot, you know. Um, let's see, what else have I been doing? I have, oh yeah, the reason you're not seeing too many updates from me is because I'm mostly doing video stuff at the moment. I don't want to be releasing too much of that until it gets approved by the Action Sudo Top Brass. But I can show you a few bits and pieces. I've been doing lots of interviews with people who work with the organization, for the organization, people who have benefited from the organization, people in our craft booth groups and people in our feeding programs. I've also been documenting some of our programs. So our Minimpo feeding program, our, yes, and also the preschool program at Hamakela, which is a, we have a feeding program there for kids before they go to school, but we're also teaching and we have a homework club too. Um, this is all based on the Ashta principles, which are an Irish curriculum. Um, yeah, I'll go into that later. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, the feeding program has a massive effect on the, the kids, actually, because uh, if it wasn't for the... The kids get one meal a day from the government when they go to school, right? They get lunch. But it's lunch. It's in the middle of the day. So they go to school hungry, you know, and they just don't retain information. So the Hamakela... Um, preschool feeding program means that they go to school with you know full tummies and we've, we've actually been able to show that they're absorbing information and learning a lot more quickly and a lot better which is which is awesome so let's see interviews preschool program an info feeding program what else oh yeah some of the production of our craft products as well very very interesting altogether so that's kind of the, the gist of it, guys. That's what I've been up to. I'm, I'm still fairly flat out, which is good. It's the only way to be. Uh, I've got about another two weeks here. And yeah, that's about it for today. So thanks for listening to these. I 
if, 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 if anyone is listening. Um, but yeah, if you want to hear any more about any specific parts, if I'm talking too little, too much, if my beard offends you, if the hum of the fridge is bothering you, if anything, you know, if you have anything to say about the vids, just let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll check back in again soon. Thanks again.